Breaking news here on Martin Lucas Investor, SoundHound. I'm going to give you some price targets here, some action, what we should do with the stock, upcoming earnings. Uh, is it time to re-enter the stock? The last time uh, we uh, came into the stock, we know what happened when, when I put my analysis out for it. This happened. This is exactly when it came out. You can go and check me if you want. This is when it came out. We started talking about Soundhound and up she went. Then we got some bad news. People took profits and back down again. Is it time to talk more about Soundhound? Well, we are going to cover the earnings for it. Uh, I'll click above my head in a minute and I'll give you the link for it. We've also got some information here to indicate uh, things are moving in the right direction. Let me just uh, go over here. I'm making this during, during a live video and I've pressed a couple of wrong buttons, but that's okay. I can fix it. There we go. We're, we're getting some very bullish sign around here, just starting to come back up again. There is some news out about Soundhound as well. Soundhound AI, not yet a buy, but keep it on your watch list. What is this all about? Just out. Uh, it's been dropping down, waiting for a re-entry point. Are we about to get back in with Soundhound and start talking about it a lot? Soundhound is a small uh, cap stock uh, competing in the in the voice AI market. Now, when we talked about this, we were around about, I think, about 10,000 subscribers. We are now 20,000 subscribers with a very, very passionate army. We're able to move very small stocks. And I mean very small, under a million. Uh, we did one uh, yesterday, which was uh, S -S -S SMX, I think it was. But uh, this is way too big. We can't move this stock. Absolutely impossible. Um, but it's interesting talking about it. You never know, though. Uh, yeah, we do. We can't move this yet. Anyway, as a small cap stock competing in the in the voice of AI marketing against big tech entities, the company revenue is growing at an impressive pace, 47% CAGR over the last two years, and is expected to continue growing at a better uh, better pace, 50% CAGR through uh, foot into 25. Now, we'll know all of this as we approach the earnings. We're going to cover the earnings live. You don't want to miss it. I'm going to show you some financials now as well, so bear with me. Sound, have you tapped the like button yet? Have you tapped the like button? And I'll tell you why you want to tap the like button, because uh, you, do, you know, do you know who else likes Soundhound? It's the little fellas. The little fellas like Soundhound. They like it as well, so we do like it. Uh, so uh, this AI stock, uh, we like technology. We like all of this. Uh, we like all the chips. We're very much into this, but uh, we need to know if we can make money from it. Let me give you some more information, and then let me share with you some uh, some news, right? Soundtown AI revenue is gradually shifting towards usage-based monthly subscription revenue, whilst its cost base is showing signs of improvement, with an EBITDA positive destination by uh, uh, for the year end 25. Okay, things are looking good. Let me show you, show you uh, some information here on the financials. Looking forward, this is what it's all about. Let me share this with you. We've got uh, revenue up 20 uh, 20 percent. We've got operating income up 21% and expected to climb. You can see what we're expecting coming up. Will we get these numbers? Net income up 13%. Will we get these numbers? We'll see. Um, invest, finance, uh, financing cash flow up 11%. Investing cash flow is uh, down 17%. That's a positive, by the way. Operating cash flow up 9%. We like that. What's the short interest on the company? Let's scrolling on down. You can see gross margin just quickly, 75% moving up, but operating margin is net negative. We've still uh, got a long way to go for this company, right? Uh, let's get, let's be absolutely clear. The profitability is 31%. Uh, so we're looking at that. The short term, the, the, the solvency is 33%. So it's still in risky territory. What's the short interest? Um, I'm going to come on to that in a second. Uh, average forecast, 79% or 144% uh, at best. The short interest, we are looking at 21.4%. Uh, so in other words, on earnings, if we get any good news, this stock can move really quickly, like it did when we last started talking about it. Will it do it again? 
Probably, because I like this kind of stock. My viewers like this kind of stock. Other other people in the space uh, are covering it as well. Uh, we do rank for this uh, number one and two on uh, on YouTube, so we're excited about that. So we'll, we will have a... Uh, th this bullish message will get out, but 21% is short squeeze territory with volume. That we can get on earnings if it does well. This is what scares us, though. We've got insiders selling. Now... You've got to understand the whole picture. Yes, insiders are selling, and they're selling quite a bit. Uh, they have been. Um, the last uh, the, During the last 12 months, SoundHound have not bought any shares and sold 11.4 million. We don't like to see that. Even the CEO, um, the CEO sold 192,000 worth. However, what comes before the sunshine? the rain. Now it's raining. Dig the ditches. Prepare for the good times. All right. Uh, things are, it's, it's tough right now. People are selling out, but I think we're going to get another bounce on the earnings. Do you agree with me? Do you think that's going to happen? Soundhound, a lot of attention is drawn to this stock. Uh, we had some information uh, just a few weeks ago. Um, let me just have a quick look at this. I'll just bring the first few moments and see what we've got here. Uh, see if it's worth sharing. Let's have a look. Our senior markets correspondent. Taking a look at the uh, old school early, really the first mover of uh, music identification uh, that uh, I guess does kind of fit into this, George. I mean, you know, we're making all these big breakthroughs with this AI stuff on music. Soundhound's probably, I guess, going to be able to work that into their product or what? Well, I think so. I mean, uh, it's all interesting technologies. I'm, I'm learning as we go also, OJ, but, um, you know, Soundhound is essentially you know, AI-based music, but also independent voice-activated, artificial intelligence, uh, things like text, uh, uh, speech-to-text recognition, uh, which, again, is all part of this uh, enhanced productivity that artificial intelligence is uh, essentially bringing to uh, to the marketplace, to society, uh, for that matter. But, um, you know, it's been an interesting company, to say the least. I mean, if you look at the stock, uh, it essentially, over the last three years, has, uh, has increased by 4x. And in fact, it's, most of it's actually been this last year, considering the stock IPO back in April of 2022. Um, and uh, overall, it's been one of these sort of smaller cap names, or it was a smaller cap name, uh, that's yeah, associated with anymore. artificial intelligence. And it's gotten a boost, especially in the past, you know, 35 to 40 days or so, because, uh, you know, of NVIDIA. If he actually took a small stake in the company, about four million shares, four million, forgive me, dollars. So it's actually a small amount considering the market cap of around two and a half billion. But at the same time, SoftBank uh, declared also an ownership stake of 1.1 million shares. Now, that's a lot of shares. But if you look at the stock price and, of course, the number of shares, which is around 255 million, it's a small stake uh, for SoftBank. So nonetheless, there's obviously some uh, some institutional interest in this particular name. And there's also some fundamentals that back it. If you do consider uh, that the company's growth rates in the last year, and if you go back last quarter, it was about 85% year over year for the full year of 2023. They generated growth around 49% with the estimates still growing around 40% on a forward basis. But this, the, the market capitalization has increased significantly to about two and a half billion. I like it. What do you think? Is it going to move? Well, my prediction, yes, it will. Uh, we got a lot of attention on this stock. It was our biggest ever video. Soundhound is currently our biggest ever video. The analysis I did for it, and it moved on the stock. Over 10,000 people watched it, and we were at around about 10,000 subscribers at the time. We've doubled, more than doubled since then. This could be my first 20,000 viewed video. If that happens, and I'm bullish on it, who knows where this is going? Uh, it's not a small cap. It's, it was. It's not. We can't influence a big stock like this. But with 20,000 uh, bullish investors, well, we'll make a little crack in it. But you never know. On earnings, what do you think? So there you go. I'm going to put all the links you need. Up here uh, are all the links uh, for my alpha spread where I get my information from. Uh, also, I'm going to put the links for uh, the, the full analysis of Soundhound, see how it's changed. I'll also put the link over here and here, here uh, over here at the end. It'll come up in a second for the earnings. You don't want to miss that. Down below here is the extra channel where we are live 12 hours a day. Now, it is a very exclusive club. 
It is members only. You can only chat in this channel. You can watch it but and then listen, but you can only be part of behind the scenes. Uh, this is our sort of radio show, if you like, uh, of the channel. And uh, it's 99 cents if you want to be a part of it. Why would you want to do that? Well, if you are a member of the Extra channel, you can talk to our members, our investors, 12 hours a day. And because we are members only, we don't have bots. We don't have scammers. We don't have shorters. We don't have people coming in trying to spread false information. We just have great information. They alert me to come back on back live again for breaking news. So we're the first to cover it. We get the news out. We catch the pumps. You can make a lot of money uh, by being in here. You learn about the scalp trades, what's going on with Ed Nevius. So many things get reported here first before anyone in the extra channel. It's only 99 cents. And a link for that as well. Here's a link for the extra channel. So above my head, down below in the description, more links along here as well. And over here and over here. Are we about to get an explosion on Soundhound? I think so. I'll leave you with that thought. Until next time, as always, take care of yourselves and each other.